Y'all probably noticed the new camera angle because I got my new, uh, how does Casey Neistat be doing that? Bro, he be like zooming in as he's talking. But I got my new tripod, my little desk tripod. And it's on my desk at the full height. Actually, I lied. You can go up like, I think like an inch. There you go. Now we're at the full height. I ordered the tripod yesterday, which y'all saw in the last video. And then my mom opened my package, so I don't ever get... <laughs> Bro, in my house, I never get the luxury of opening a package on my own because somebody in my family just decides to open up the packages. If I wanted to have an unboxing channel, I couldn't even do it because, you know, I'm not going to be able to open up my damn boxes. My own boxes. I'm sorry, like, my ADHD is, like, all over the place right now. And I see, like, a hair, I hope. Oh, thank God. If that was a scratch, I would have been... I've been done for. This is my only lens. I would have been fu- I lied. That's not my only lens. This is my only other lens, but this is a kit lens. Who uses a kit lens? And you're probably like, oh, why do you have the public interviewer in public set up? It's because this is actually my streaming camera now because I don't use it. A7 III is a solid camera. And it's just old. And if I ever do like photo work or something, then I'll use this camera for photos. But at this point, it's going to be a streaming camera until further notice. And actually, I can't show you right now because the, this camera is using it. But I have like this little plate at the bottom. Now, it looks like the Peak Design plates. If you want to focus on that and not me, that'd be great. It looks like the Peak Design plates for like my little backpack thing. But this is actually for tripod mounts. They, uh, Fal Falcam? Yeah, Ulanzi, Falcam, some they have like um a plate that you can buy that you can screw onto like a tripod plate or just if it's arca swiss you can mount the actual plate into arca swiss to screw it down and then you can just slide your camera on and off i don't even know what i'm filming for this video this is just like uh right now this is just a vlog that i don't even know if it probably won't even be finished today it's just gonna be filmed it's gonna start today and just because i wanted to talk about this little tripod that i got basically right now uh, i'm going to go see my girlfriend and i'm actually packing up my camera bag because I don't know, I just like bringing camera gear with me anytime just because you never know. Um, I'm actually gonna go get her some flowers because our year and a half, we had a, hit a year and a half of dating, which I don't know, some people don't celebrate that, some people do. I just think like, I, I, need, I didn't get her flowers last time because we went to the Astros game and they would just sat in the car for like 10 hours and then they would have died. I'm gonna make it up to her and get her some flowers today. Um, so I'm gonna head to H-E-B because I'm a, uh, I'm rich. <laughs> but nah, for real though, buying flowers at H-E-B does not make you rich. That probably makes me sound poor. I mean, I, I am poor. I can't afford, you know, a $50,000 bouquet because y'all aren't hiring me, man. I don't get that many hours. Summertime. You would think there's more work, but there's really not. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the H-E-B to get the flowers. Um, I'm probably definitely not vlogging in H-E-B grabbing flowers. Also, just remember, I don't know if I said this, but I'm going to be editing today. So that's why I'm vlogging. It's because I'm supposed to be editing. I think I just said I don't know why I'm vlogging, but I'm vlogging because I'm going to be doing some work. It's for a client and... I'm gonna be with my girlfriend. I like I like editing with her because she doesn't really bother me. Well, I lied. She does bother me a lot when I'm editing. But it's fine because she's my girlfriend. Yeah, so that's basically what I'm supposed to be doing today is editing. I'm actually vlogging on the phone right now because I didn't feel like pulling out the camera. Because what I realized is the camera's actually like heavy as fuck. Um, but yeah, I so I got her some flowers, some roses with some little whatever the white it is. White flowers. Do y'all know what those are? Because I don't. And yeah, I know there's like a little dead spot on the flower. But that was the best one I could find. There was not a better one. So don't judge me too hard, okay? What I'm told is a thought that counts. And they'll say they expire on July 20th. Because there's 7 2023. Canel's calling me. Oh, yeah, I got cut off by Canel Joseph for a, a, a camera question. But was I, I don't even remember what I was saying. But yeah, I'm heading to Jenica's now. And uh, we're going we're gonna to go to a coffee shop or something. Because she wants to read a book. I don't read books, so I can't relate. Uh, I read. I tried reading one of like my friend's books. Read like half of it. It's not a bad book. Just can't read books. So I've kind of run into like a big issue. I'm gonna roll up the windows real quick, and that is actually the big issue. Is I think my AC is out. So it's it's very hot outside. It's like 90 something, maybe almost 100 degrees, and I don't have AC. I also just stopped and I saw like a stand that had like turkey legs. So I was like, I'm gonna call up a turkey leg because. Turkey legs are fire. They're right there. It will, it's, it, it's right there. It's like $15, which isn't too... I was trying to say $15 isn't too high, but it's so hot outside and in my car. Like, I'm literally sweating and my phone's overheating. So I can't even record more than like 10 seconds without it overheating. It's unfortunate. What's up, Jenica? We got a turkey leg. I already said I got a turkey leg. She tore that shit up. She ate everything off the bone. Okay. Oh, uh, no, that's crazy. That's crazy. Tore that up. It's just me, my bone, and I. Me, my so. bone, and I is crazy. I think there's something else in here. There's nothing left in that. Mm. Okay. <laughs> what the hell is that? Why is it pink? It's pink. Why is it pink? Goofy. Oh, that was mine. Ooh, she got her book. What's your book? People meet on vacation. Oh, again? What else did you get? She keeps drinking mine. You got your own. Hold on. I'm saving this for later. Okay. But I've just bought that. 
She always likes my drink. I'm the teacher. Yeah. Right now I'm about to edit. All right, Starbucks, you're about to edit. Right? You're about to edit too? Yeah, she don't even know how to read. She re she reads like with her finger. She goes, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> goofy. So I didn't um, update y'all at all since I've been home. I'm about to give y'all some games, some free game right here. Let me just get y'all a little closer before we get you to that, that knowledge, that game. This is a game that I've, I've heard of before. Um, I think, maybe it's just in my head, maybe I'm just crazy, maybe I just assumed I heard this before. There's this thing called, it's like free marketing basically. If you go somewhere and do something for free, or just like, out, do it out in public, do what you do out in public, People see that, people peep that, right? Now today, again, I wasn't doing this on purpose. I was just out at Starbucks because I was with my girlfriend and I needed to get some work done. She wanted to read a book, so we just went to Starbucks, right? I don't know where this is gonna go. I don't know how, you know, what's gonna happen from here on, but a lady did like approach us and she actually owns like a production studio. It's really nice, very beautiful studio. And I, you know what I was doing? I was just minding my business and on my computer editing, minding my own business. And she saw that, that I was editing and you know, turns out she owns a studio. Like what I'm trying to say is that don't be scared to like leave your room. If you're wanting to get more clients or more work, don't be scared to like leave your house because if you go out in public, more people are going to recognize it. It's basically free marketing of what you do. People are going to just see your editing out in public because that gives you more of a, gives the person, I guess, more of confidence that you know what you're doing because you're willing to leave the house and do it rather than sit behind your computer at home. To me, if I was to see somebody out in public editing or filming a video, to me that kind of like acknowledge, it makes me acknowledge that they have confidance because if they're willing to do that where anybody can see what they're doing or how they're doing it, they must be confident in their work. Now, I'm not saying like every creator is, you know, confident in their work. Some people just have to do that in public because that's what they have to do to get Wi-Fi or whatever. I'm just saying like, I, I am sometimes not, um, what's it called? Sometimes I'm not confident in my work because I mean, everybody, I think it's called like imposter syndrome. Everybody gets it. Like, everybody just assumes their work's not that good or it's not as good as it could be. I mean, uh, today I just had no choice. I just kind of had to ed edit in public. It, it kind of like helped out. And if, you know, hopefully this leads to something. Hopefully I get to go check out the studio. I'm going to try to see if, like, if I do get to go check out the studio. She invited me to come check it out. Um, If I do go, I'm going to try to see if I can, like, kind of vlog the experience. Because I'm trying to do this, like, behind the scenes stuff now. Kind of, like, just show my experience of, like, this videographer, editor life. I know my day isn't always interesting. Like, today wasn't too interesting. I mean, I just woke up. Got this little tripod, which I actually found out has a little hole in the side, so I have this light mounted to the tripod, which is sick. But that's besides the point. So like, not every day is gonna be interesting as a videographer, freelance, or whatever. You just kind of have to make it interesting. And obviously, these vlogs aren't too like you know creative, I guess. It's just more of like a BTS of my day. I probably will try to start incorporate some like actual creative type vlogs, you know, some cinematic stuff into there. Cause I can do it. I know I can do it. I know how to shoot S log. I can make the looks look good. I just don't shoot S log for a normal vlog. Like if you're looking at it, it's just Rec 709. Um, just camera is just so beautiful. The A7S 3 I just love it. But yeah, I am at home now. It's already 1030. I'm drinking pre-workout at 1030 and it's a mismatched cup and lid. So don't really judge me too much. Um, it's late and I need to get this pre-workout in. It's half a scoop today because if I take a full scoop, I'll hardly be up till 5 a.m., which doesn't really matter because as I realize as I'm talking, I really don't need energy because I'm just going and going and going. I just don't shut up. But it's okay because like it's the ADHD that we all have. If you're a creative, you just automatically have ADHD. You just automatically diagnose. But I might legitimately have it. I don't know. I'm definitely taking some online tests and uh, I think I passed. Meaning I got ADHD. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I have for the, the little vlog. It's a little, my two, three, ten thousand cents I've gave you. Um, a lot of, a lot of over the, all over the place stuff. I'll probably bring up this stuff again in another vlog. Go ahead and follow my Duran Media account. Uh, Twitter, Duran Media's. Instagram is Duran Media, like I just said. But uh, if you have any questions about something in the industry in general, like editing or videoing or like how to work a certain camera or how to edit a certain thing or do a specific edit, anything at all, just comment down below and I'll try to make a video on it. Definitely like helps me out with content because I don't always know what to make. And this video probably is for nobody that who cares. But you know, if it isn't, if people watch it, then they watch it. If they don't, they don't. At the end of the day, it's just kind of like my daily, you know, journal in a way, which is not daily, but it's going to be a daily journal that's not daily sometimes these videos are gonna go over a span of two days i need to shut up and i need to go work out because it's already 10 45 now because i've been talking for almost 12 minutes straight hope y'all enjoyed the video um at least what it was and i think i found a new outro i think i'm just gonna do this every time yeah Last summer, I was in love. now i just don't give a fuck why you had to go